Welcome, in this video I'll show you how we can set up reaction roles with Carl Bot. Now I'll show you the whole setup and everything you will need to know. So I'll show you how we can set up the channel, how we will set up the roles so that we can make sure that this will work and then also how we can use Carlbot to actually set up those reaction roles. So most importantly we will first need to make the roles. So right here we will go to the server settings, we will go to roles and right here we will create a new role which is called verified. I will make this role orange and I will also um, make sure to display the role separately on the right side. I will drag this role to the top so we can basically see who, who is verified. And so this is everything you need to know about the roles. We are not creating an unverified role. So people that join the server don't get an unverified role and then get the verified role. No, no, no. So we'll only need the verified role and now we need to make sure to set up the channels correctly so if you have a lot of channels this could be a, a bit of work however what you will need to do is to go to each channel click on edit channel click on the permissions advanced permissions and we will need to add this um actually we will not we will need to select the add everyone role and disable this channel so if someone joins the server they will not be able to see any of the channels so we will need to disable this for the at everyone role and we will select the verified role that we've just created and select uh, or enable view channel so this means um, nobody will be able to see this channel only people that have the verified role so we will do this with the general channel as well we will disable this channel for everyone click uh, select the verified role enable this or enable view channel for the verified role save the changes and we will go back so if i now if i would join the server i would not be able to see any of the channels and so now we will need to set up the verification channel so if i create a new channel i'll call this verification and obviously it is a text channel and then i'll create this channel this channel will be set up differently so we will need to do the exact opposite here we will need to enable this channel for everyone but we will need to disable this channel for people that have the verified role. So let's recap this quickly. The general voice channel and general text channel is not visible for people that join the server. Only the verification channel is visible for people that join the server. But this verification channel is invisible for people that have the verified role. And on the other hand, the general text channel and the general voice channel is visible for people that have the verified role. Now here you will need to type in a verification message. So in this case, I'll make it very simple. However, you can create your own nice message here. So I will just type in, in order to verify, react to this message. So now we have this um, verification message in here. The next thing we need to do is we will need to add carlbot and set up the reaction roles with carlbot. So you will need to go to carl.gg. So this is the official carlbot website. And here you will need to invite this bot to your server. So I will select the server where I would like to invite the bot to. If you click on continue, here are the permissions that you're granting to this bot. Then you will need to scroll down and click on authorize. If you verify that you're a human, you'll be redirected back to the carlbot website and as you can see you're also logged in so here you can see all of the servers where um, you could add carlbot or where we have permissions to add the carlbot so here is the server that i will select and now this is the server where we would like to um, set up the reaction roles so we will click on reaction roles on the left side and here create a new reaction role so here you have a few different things you can do. You can post an embed, you can use an ID or use the most recent message in the channel. I suggest using the ID. So here we need to enter in the message ID. In order to do that, you will need to go to your user settings and then click on advanced. And here you will need to make sure that developer mode is activated. If this is not activated, this whole thing won't work. So if developer mode is activated, you will need to go to your message and click or right click this message and here you can click copy message ID. So this will be the message ID that we will need to insert right here. 
Here we will need to select the channel and here we can add an emoji. I like to use the white check mark for my verification systems and here we will need to select the role that people will get. So in this case we will need to select the verified role. Down here we can choose a message type which is normal. Here only allow members with any of these roles to pick up roles. We will leave this empty and here blacklist members with any of these roles. I like to choose the verified role here as well. So now we have an emoji, a role that people get when they react and a blacklist. If we now click on create and go back to our discord, you can now see the car bot has sent in a message because this bot needs additional permissions to hand out these bots. So this is actually a very, very common um, problem that people face. So we will click on remove reactions real quick. So remove reactions here. We will need to go to the server settings, go to roles. And we will now need to drag Carlbot to the top. And so Carlbot can now um, assign roles, assign all of the roles that are below him. So we will go back to the website real quick. We will create the same reaction role um, again. We will now click on create. And you can now see the bot has reacted again. So now you can see I have the admin role. If I now react to this message, you can see I have the verified role. So after someone claims the verified role, they will not be able to see the verification channel anymore, but they will then be able to see the general channel and all of the other channels, and they will basically get full access to the Discord server. And so that's pretty much how you can make reaction roles with Carl Bot. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.